On April 24, 1963, Birmingham Southern student Marty Turnipsey left campus to join seven black students at a sit-in at a downtown lunch counter. Despite the repercussions, she had to follow her conscience. On April 24, 2013, 50 years later, Birmingham Southern and the city of Birmingham teamed up to plan a march. BSC students, faculty, staff, and members of the community walked off the hilltop once more. They walked downtown not to protest, but to honor Marty and all who sacrificed in the fight for civil rights. Can we pray together? Dear God, we confess to you that Birmingham Southern did not get it right in 1963. When Marty walked that day on April 24th, she walked from this campus alone. She joined other people in a simple act, a humble and peaceful act of defiance. At our worst, we claim that your guidance led us to separate humanity from humanity. At our best, as an institution, we allowed a college student, a young woman named Marty Turnipsey, to bear in her act of compassion the full brunt of the establishment with our shameful silence. We let her down. We let our black sisters and brothers down. We let our city down. And we let you down. For that, we ask for your forgiveness. Today, 50 years later, we walk with Marty. We march to join her in a simple act of sitting with our neighbors. We march to join those who didn't choose violence, but also didn't choose to remain silent. We march to join those who faced the hoses the dogs, and everything Bull Connor and the rest of Birmingham could throw at them. We march to admit that while most of us weren't there, we can work today to make sure that any student, any child, any person will never have to walk alone to join the oppressed in Birmingham, Alabama. Today isn't just about the past, it is about the future. It's about moving forward, ever, together with the city that we love. On this day, we choose to join our journey with Marty and your hope for anyone who's brave enough to look at a stranger and see the image of God. Hope happens, and we want to be a part of it. Hope happens because Marty Turnipsey did what she knew was right. Hope happens because violence, exclusion, and oppression won't have the final say. Hope happens because while we cannot change the past, the future can still be determined. Hope happens because you continue to guide us to hope, faith, and love. Hope happens because you've sent us heroes to lead the way. Heroes like Marty. Heroes too numerous to name, but so vital because they taught us the greatest act of love is often the simplest. This isn't just some two mile walk into downtown Birmingham because we have enough time and need the publicity. It's a journey that Marty Turnipseed made that shone a light into the heart of BSC as an institution and every man, woman, and student who claimed to be about higher learning. It's a journey that we choose to make every day from this day forward to seek justice, mercy, and peace. It is a journey that we should have started a long time ago, but we pray it isn't too late again. Step by step, we pray Marty's journey can become our own. Help us sing, help us laugh, help us to become the college that Marty would be proud of. May we honor her, her memory today, and every chance we get. Through your grace, may we work for a better BSC, a better Birmingham, a better Alabama, and a better world. Lead us forward ever. Amen. We want to use this opportunity to show the community that it took all people to end uh, the segregation laws in this community. It took all people to bring about a new day here in Birmingham that changed not only Birmingham, but this state, this country, and the world. There was a strong, sweet, heroic spirit of we can change this and we will. And this spirit enveloped the movement, and it lifted downcast eyes, and it gave energy to weary feet, and it energized the old, and it inspired the young, and it gave birth to an irrepressible hope and a stubborn will to keep on keeping on. Praise God indeed. When we first envisioned this march, uh, we had really two objectives. Uh, and I think we met every one of them. Uh, the first one was to, to have my students understand that their individual action can have a major consequence 
down the road, similar to what Marty did, in that their action if based on moral courage to do the right thing at the right time for the right reason is a real winning combination. I think they got that. They heard from multiple speakers about the courage of this young woman, a young woman who actually did step out in a very dangerous situation and did the right thing. The second issue was that the civil rights movement some 50 years ago was in reality a spark that started a bonfire that has turned to what we call human rights. And that what these students need to know is that they must treat everybody with respect and dignity. That if they do that and they display the moral courage of a Marty Turnipseed, then this day has been a great success.